Have you ever confused between fetch and axios? Both are used to make HTTP requests. Uh -huh. But which one should you choose? Fetch or axio? What's the difference? Which one is better for you? Let's break it down for beginners like you. Imagine you are ordering pizza. Fetch is like calling the restaurant directly with your own instructions. Axios, it's like using food delivery app. Extra feature, but you need to install it first. Let's talk about Fetch. Fetch is built right into the modern browsers, which means you don't need to install anything extra to use it. It's like having a tool already in your toolbox. Fetch uses promises, which make it easy to handle asynchronous operations. You send a request, wait for the response, and then process it. Simple, right? But here is the catch. Fetch requires a bit more work to handle errors and parse data. Yes, Fetch doesn't automatically handle HTTP errors like 404 or 500. You need to check the response and convert the response to JSONs manually. Now let's talk about Axios. Axios is a third-party library, which means you need to install it before using it. But don't let that scare you. It's super easy to set up and it comes with some awesome features. Yes, Axio can handle error, automatically convert to JSON, and support for features like request timeout, interceptors, and also work with Node.js environment. Okay, let's compare the two. Here's what you need to know. Fetch is simple but requires more manual work. Axios is more beginner friendly with automatic JSON parsing and error handling. Fetch is built in the browser, no need to set up manually. Where Axios require installation via npm or script tag. Fetch is lightweight but lack advanced feature. Axios have interceptors, request cancellation and more. Fetch works in modern browser but need polyfills for older ones. Where Axios works everywhere including old browser or node environment. So which one should you choose as a beginner? If you are working on a small project or just learning, start with Fetch. It's a great way to understand how HTTP requests work under the hood. If you are building something more complex or want a smoother experience, go with Axios. It will save you time and frustration. The truth is, both are great. Start with Fetch to learn fundamentals, then switch to Axios when you are ready to level up. And guess what? You can use both in the same project. So which one you prefer? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you in the next video.